For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force between these two forces acting on point A. First, you find the position vectors for the different points. So for A, the point is 0i plus 0j plus 3k. For B, is 2i plus 4j plus 0k. And for C, is negative 4i minus 3j plus 0k. Now that you have the three forces, uh, first let's find uh, f of AB. So to do that, we're going to need to find the vector from A all the way to B. A to B. And this is equal to Bx minus Ax in the I plus By minus Ay in the J plus Bc minus Ac in the K. When you plug the values in from these two vectors, <coughs> You're going to get that this is equal to 2i plus 4j minus 3k. So this is vector AB. Now we find the magnitude of this vector by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. These three components, when you plug them into the above formula, you get that this is equal to 5.39. To find the univector AB, in other words, the tiny vector with a value of 1 right here, you do the vector AB divided by the magnitude. Dividing each of the values by the magnitude will give you the univector, which comes out to be 0.371i plus 0.742j minus 0.557k. This univector, when you multiply it by the force, the magnitude of the force AB is given at 200. So when you want to find the vector in Cartesian form, you just multiply the magnitude of said vector by the univector that we just calculated. And when you multiply each of these values by 200, you're going to get the vector that we're looking for, which is 74.2i plus 148.4j, so forth, minus 111.4k, so on here. So this is our first force vector. Now, we're going to repeat the same steps to find uh, this force of vector IC. First we need the <coughs> vector from A to C. This vector comes out to be negative 3i minus 4j minus 3k. The magnitude of this vector calculated like we did before comes out to be 5.83. The uni vector which is the vector over the magnitude comes out to be negative 0.515i minus 0.686j minus 0.515k. So this is our univector. And we're given the force of AC, the magnitude, which is 150. So the Cartesian vector form of AC is the magnitude of AC multiplied by the univector and this comes out to be negative 77.25i minus 102.9j minus 77.25k now that we have both vectors in Cartesian form we can find the resultant force which is simply adding the two vectors and the resultant force comes out to be negative 3.05i plus 45.5j minus 188.65k. The magnitude 
of this vector can be found with the same formula magnitude of a vector is just the three components squared and square rooted together so the magnitude comes out to be 194.1 and the angles can be found by doing the cosine inverse of the components over the magnitude y over f of r and cosine inverse of c over f of r so each of these three values that I'm the square right now each of these three values divided by this magnitude you cosine inverse that fraction that you get and you're gonna get that the angles are 90.9 degrees for the first one 76.44 degrees for the second one and 166 degrees point four for the third one so magnitude of the resultant force direction angles first Cartesian vector of AB of a, second is the Cartesian vector for FAC final answers Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.